Zero. We are done with the burn. The burn is complete. And there you go. Complete deorbit burn now. That was about uh, five minutes and 20 seconds long, and that uh, was intended to drop the Soyuz, uh, slow it down and drop it back into the Earth's atmosphere so that it could begin its journey home to the steppe of Kazakhstan today. Crews now on their way for a 9.55 p.m. Central Time landing. And confirmation here on the ground that we did get module separation. We see separation on our telemetry. And two and a half minutes till atmospheric reentry. Irkuti, 30 seconds till atmospheric reentry. A minute and a half left to go until touchdown. We still don't have video from the landing site at this point, so we'll be waiting on confirmations from the team on the ground. We'll pass those on as soon as we do hear them. And uh, if we are able to get video in the meantime, we will definitely uh, put that out as well. Just a little over a minute to go now. And there is the video we've been waiting on. So we'll use under its parachute, making its way down for today's landing. That should be coming up very soon at this point. Just before landing, ammunition will get a notice from the computers to prepare to fire six solid propellant engines called the soft landing engines and slow the Soyuz down to five feet per second or about 3.5 miles per hour. And you can see Soyuz has now touched down in Kazakhstan, 9.54 p.m. Central Time. After 196 days in space, 3,136 orbits, and 83 million miles, Chris Cassidy, Anatoly Ivanishin, and Ivan Bogner are home. Again, that landing coming at 9.54 p.m. Central Time, just a smidge early. And now seeing Yvonne Wagner, this again coming from uh, Roscosmos. Uh, looks like we've got two of the three crew members out now, and we'll keep watching for uh, Anatoly Venetian, who should be up next. You can see a few of the NASA personnel who are gathered out at the landing site. Uh, 